This is a well-known Pascal triangle. The number is 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 3, 1, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1, and so on and so forth. Now let's define Pn as a product of n choose k from k equals to 0 until n. It means that P0 is equal to 1. P1 is equal to 1 times 1 is 1. P2 is equal to 1 times 2 times 1, 2. P3 is 1, 3, 3, 1, that is 9. And P4 is the product of this, that is 96. And P5 is equal to 2500. Zero, zero. So as you can see, the sequence Pn is increasing. And we say that it increases exponentially. We use the word exponential. When we read between the lines, or in this case, we calculate between the, the line, then we will find something that is interesting. By defining Pn as such, we want to show that the limit of Pn minus 1, Pn plus 1 over Pn squared, when n is big enough, it is equal to e. The number E, which has a value about 2.71828.1828, hide inside the Pascal triangle. And we have to calculate it between the lines. I'll provide two different methods to get the answer. So we know that Pn, it will be equal to N0, N1, N2, all the way to Nn. And we know that this is equal to N factorial, 0 factorial, n factorial, n factorial, 1 factorial, n minus 1 factorial. And in general, is n factorial, k factorial, n minus k factorial. And the last one will be n factorial, n factorial, 0 factorial. So from here, we will have n factorial, you have to the power of n plus 1. And from here, 0 factorial, 1 factorial, k factorial, and the n factorial. So it's a product of k factorial from k equals to 0 to n. But you have double of it because there's another 0 factorial, 1 factorial, until n factorial. So this will be a square. Now we'll compute pn minus 1 over pn. We copy down the pn, n factorial to the power of n plus 1. I will write it in this way, over k equals to 0 to n, k factorial square. And for p minus 1 n, it is equal to n minus 1 factorial to the power of n over the product of k factorial, k equals to 0 to n minus 1 n square. We will consider this term and this term. So each time you have n minus 1 factorial over n factorial. And each time you have an n. And you have all together n of them. So it will be n to the power of n. n factorial still there. So times n factorial. And for this, you have 0 factorial, 1 factorial until n minus factorial. But for this, you have 0 factorial until n minus 1 factorial all cancel off, but you left with n factorial. And that is a square, so this will be n factorial square. So this is equal to n factorial over n to the power of n. We will look at it later on using the second method and to make sense of what is this meaning. Next, pn minus 1 pn plus 1 over pn square is actually equal to pn minus 1 over pn over pn over pn plus 1. So this is actually equal to n factorial over nn. And the other one should be equal to n plus 1 factorial over n plus 1 to the power of n plus 1. I'll write into this term. Okay. 
So n factorial over n n. n plus 1 factorial over n plus 1 power n plus 1. I split in this way. n plus 1 factorial actually is n factorial and n plus 1. So all this will be cancelled off. And this will be um, n plus 1 power n over n n. That is 1 plus 1 over n to the power of n. This term is actually equal to 1 plus 1 over n to the power of n. When n is big enough, that is equal to e by definition. And hence, we have proved that this is correct. Shall so look at some uh, small value to see that this is correct. Example, p0, p2 over p1 squared. That will be 1 times 2 over 1. That is 2. Next, p1, p3 over p2 squared. p1, p3, that is 9 over p2 square, that is 4. And one more example, p2, p4 over p3 square. p2, that is 2, p4, that is uh, 96 over 9 square. You can do a simple calculation and you'll see that this is actually equals to 1 plus 1 over 1 to the power of 1, and this is 1 plus 1 over 2 to the power of 2, and this is 1 plus 1 over 3 to the power of 3. This is the algebraic proof for this expression. Now, we'll go to another proof that is easier to visualize. Um, if you still remember, what we have just now for pn minus 1 over pn, that will be equals to n factorial to the power of n power n. We try to make sense of this one. Now, pn minus 1 over pn, that is, we take the product of the n minus 1 row over the product of n row. And in order to do this, 1 divided by 1, and you have 1, and that's all. For the second row, in order to get the second row here, this is 1 over 1, 1 over 2. The third row will be 1 over 1, 2 over 3, and 1 over 3. Next, 1 over 1, 3 over 4, 3 over 6, and 1 over 4. Finally, 1 over 1, 4 over 5, 6 over 10, 4 over 10, and 1 over 5. Now, what happened here is pn minus 1 over pn is actually the product of the row here. And what we have here is 1 over n, 2 over n, 3 over n, until n over n. So this is 1 over 2, and 1 is 2 over 2. 1 over 2, 2 over 2. This is 1 over 3, 2 over 3, 3 over 3. This is something different, but this is actually equal to 2 over 4. 1 over 4, 2 over 4, 3 over 4, 4 over 4. 1 over 5, 2 over 5, 3 over 5, and 4 over 5. And the pattern will go on. What happens for pn minus 1, pn plus 1 over pn squared? It will be equal to pn minus 1 over pn over pn over pn plus 1. So we will proceed this again, but the direction is slightly different. We will take this direction. So 1 over half, that is a 2. 1 over 2 over 3, that is 3 over 2. 1 over 2 over 1 over 3, that is 3 over 2. This is 1 over 3 over 4, that is 4 over 3. 2 over 3 over 2 over 4, that is 4 over 3. 1 over 3 over 1 over 4, that is 4 over 3. Likewise, this will be 5 over 4, 5 over 4, 5 over 4, 5 over 4. And if you still remember, this is actually equal to 1 plus 1 over n to the power of n. It means that each of the term is the same and it is equal to 
n plus 1 over n, right? So, and we know that the limit of 1 plus 1 over n to the power of n, when n is big enough, it is defined as e. Therefore, we prove that the limit of a pn minus 1, pn plus 1 over pn square, when n is big enough, is equal to e. In upcoming video, I'll show you another result that is something related to e again. That's all for today's lesson. See you again. Bye-bye.